Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert and format word art. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a presentation here and I'm going to replace this text right here that says set yourself up with some word art text. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the insert tab, text group at this sideways A here that says word art. This is where you could add some artistic flair to your document using WordArt text box. Alright, so I use WordArt typically for things like titles or subtitles, something that doesn't contain too much text, but something that I want to uh, point out to the reader. And so I'm going to go right here to WordArt, and I'm going to click on this. Now if you clicked WordArt on your PowerPoint presentation, you'll notice that some of the colors may be different. The colors in the WordArt gallery are based off of the theme of your document. Remember, you may have some lighter options like this one, which will only look good with a darker background, or these darker options like this one, which will only look good with a lighter background. Since my background is lighter in the area that I'm going to be placing the text, I'm going to choose one of the ones that has a darker fill. I'll choose this one right here. When you click, it'll say your text here. I'm going to type in the title, set yourself up. <clears throat> there we go. When you're finished typing the word art, there are a few options that you could do to change up the word art. Just because you have chosen the style from this gallery does not mean that you need to necessarily stick with that style. You could actually uh, change up the style in a lot of different ways, including the way the text fill looks, the text outline, and a variety of different text effects. I'm going to show you how to change the shape of one of these words. So I'm going to go ahead and move my word art down here so I can see it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to click on the border of the word art. When you click the border of the word art, it'll turn it from a dotted or dashed line into a solid line. That means that this solid line will um, affect all of the word art inside if you make any changes. Also notice that when you have your word art selected, the Drawing Tools Format tab is available up at the top. If you click on this tab and go to the Word Art Styles group, this is where you can change the fill, outline, and effects that are related to your smart art. I'm going to first look at the effects here. You'll see that when I click that, you can change the shadow, reflection, glow, bevel, 3D rotation, and even transform the uh, letters. Now, I'm going to use transform for the effect in this tutorial, but you can change any of these options. I'm going to go down here and choose one of these uh, curved letters, and so you'll see that I'm going to choose chevron up right here. And you'll see this is also where you can make rotated letters, things like that, and set up your words in exactly the direction that you want them to. Alright, so I choose Transform, I choose Chevron Up, and now we see this is looking like a pretty good title. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do here is show you how to change the size of the word art. Uh, if you don't like the size, you could always click and drag to increase or decrease the size. Keep in mind that however you change it, the word art will adjust. So even if I flip it upside down, it'll flip it upside down. If I bring it in like this, again, it'll fit whatever box you create. So you want to create a good size box. I'll leave mine as this size right here. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, change the word art text fill. And so that's going to be right up here in the word art styles group. I'm going to choose text fill. Notice my theme colors up at the top. Again, these are based off of the theme, the standard colors right down here. And then you have other options like your eyedropper, picture, gradient, and texture options. I'll choose texture on this one, and I'll just choose this wooden color down here at the bottom that says medium wood, which will give my text a wooden effect. All right, now I'm ready to start moving my text up to this area that says set yourself up. So I'm going to delete this up at the top here, and I'll delete the placeholder. Now I'm going to click and drag on the border of the smart art, or sorry, of the word art, to move it up into the center of my slide. We'll put it right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the text outline, which is the last part. And the text outline, when you click on it, you'll see once again your theme colors, but you do have a difference here of adjusting the weight. The weight is the outside border of your, um, or rather the outline of your word art. So you'll see that if I choose something like six point, it'll actually make the border quite a bit larger than the inside text fill. If you ever have this problem, just increase the size of your uh, text to fit a larger area. And you'll see that looks a little bit better here. Next up, I'm going to show you how to change the color of your outline. And so to change the color of the outline, you just click on text outline. And let's say that I don't want that uh, current color of teal. I could go right here and choose black text one. And there we go. You'll see that has now adjusted the outline. And now the only thing that you can see around it is a teal glow. 
All right, so that's how you insert word art onto your PowerPoint slides. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.